Today's gonna be a really fun video. I'm doing a blind shaft test. We've got three true tempered dynamic gold iron shafts here, and I'm gonna to have to guess which one is which just by swinging them. Thomas will conduct this test for me, and we'll show the numbers on TrackMan. Can I get them right? Watch the video to find out. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. And fun one today, Thomas. Uh, I'm being put to the test a little bit today, uh, a blind shaft test. I think we did this one time with you a while ago. I think it was the graphite design shafts yep. uh, with driver. This is a little different today. We've got three iron shafts, uh, true tempered dynamic gold. Uh, so explain to me and the viewers what you've got going on today and um, if, do you think I'm up for this task? Well, first off, let's talk about, you know, shaft flexes and club speed and yeah. tempo. Um, typically, you, you, if you fit into a particular golf shaft, you have a type of a tempo, you have a mm -hmm. certain amount of club speed, or you're looking for a, a certain trajectory. Yeah. Um, you, True Tempo Dynamic Gold is a unique shaft. It's been out for uh, years, a long, yeah. long time. Yeah. It used to be just put in stock in just iron sets and yep. be sold off the rack, um, even before club fitting was a, was a thing. Um, the guys on tour, they're still using X100 is probably one of the most popular, it is yep. the most popular shaft still on tour. So yep. it's still one of the most used golf shafts out there. It's a staple, it's been out for a long, long time. But the unique thing with this test is whether it's a regular golf shaft, whether it's a stiff golf shaft, or whether it's an extra stiff golf shaft, the weight mm, doesn't wear very too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So usually when we're doing a club fitting and coming for an, an iron fitting and you know, we, we test the heads then we test some different shafts out. I usually like to vary the weight. Well, I think the most important thing to remember here is just because you fit into a regular golf shaft, don't just grab that one off the rack. Yeah. Just because you finish, fit, fit into a stiff golf shaft, just don't grab that one off the rack. Same thing with the extra stiff. Because they all do weigh differently from about 80 grams all the way up to about 130 grams. Yeah. I'm gonna talk a little bit about True Tame and Dynamic Gold. The R300, so you're gonna be testing three shafts today. You're gonna be testing the Dynamic Gold R300, S300 and X100. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, these are all regular, stiff, extra stiff. There's only a variation by three grams per wow. club. So you talked about me doing a previous test doing graphite design shafts. That one was a little easier. <laughs> this one, I've already kind of set you up for failure, I guess. <laughs> oh, thanks. But I want to see, you know, I'm curious to see if you can guess it. Uh, I think this is important to talk about when it comes to golf shafts and club fitting because not everyone fits into the same golf shaft. Right. Not everyone that plays a regular shaft should play a regular heavy or stiff. So we'll talk about the differences there between these shafts. But are you ready to... Uh... Yeah, I, uh, this will be interesting. And again, I, like you mentioned, uh, not every player, they, they have, might have a swing speed or they might have a tempo and they think this, but you never know. And so it, yeah. and the feel aspect is gonna be huge for me here because it's gonna be how much can I feel you know, the, the flex of that shaft and maybe I, maybe I won't feel it, I don't know. Yeah, so I know which golf shaft is which. Um, what I've done here is I've just covered up the X100, the S300, and the R300. So these are all the exact same length. Yep. Um, they're just three different golf shafts. Um, you, the all true Tampa Diamond Gold. Um, I think this is got the I230 here too. And we have the I230. So I a know club I'm interested a, in. This is a so. club that you're interested in here too. So we're going to be testing with the same club head, three different golf shafts, all varying in uh, flex. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure I know what I'm in for yet, but let's, let's do this. All um, right, Drew. So shuffling these shafts up, I'm going to let you kind of pick one here to start with. Oh, wow. Okay. This is totally random, isn't it? Okay. That one? I got this one. Perfect. All right, so shaft hmm. number one. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put it on the I-230. And then we're gonna find out if there really is a big difference between R300, S300, and X100. So that's, I guess that's the question. Do you, mean, do you see a big difference in the fittings between these three? Is it more of a feel preference thing for the player or what? Yeah, so generally speaking when I'm, when I'm doing this is you know, if you fit into say me a regular flex based on say, your speed or, or even like kind of like your, or a heavier shaft based on your yeah. tempo, you know, I'll, I'll put a variation in. So I'll, I might put an outlier in. So I like to test the weight range. So yeah. in iron fitting, I'll go a lighter, a, a middle, okay. and, an, a, and a, a heavier shaft in yeah. the same flex just to see if we can get some feedback on those. Okay. So this is shaft number one. That's a good swing. It draws back. Yeah. And I know that you're interested in the I-230 here. So, so this would be yeah. kind of fun. You get to hit it. Yep. But also get to play around with a couple of different shafts. Yep, and I have the 
Project X LZ 6.5 in my shafts currently, or in my uh, irons currently, so. Yeah, and the weight of that is 125 grams. So we're pretty close. A little bit chunky there. And maybe we'll start out, we'll hit three shots with each one, and then maybe we'll come around for a second round and see if you that, uh, change your mind or yeah, not. That sounds good. It's a nice swing. Very good. Well, I gotta say, I, I like this setup. Like that setup. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, as I mentioned, these shafts are a little heavier. You're already playing a heavier golf shaft. So. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. All right. All right. I'm ready for number two here. Shaft number two. So is this something? Do you think I can? I mean, I'm. Not, I don't need to be asking for too many hints, but is there like a, a metric or anything up here I can maybe get info from on this, or is that? Is that not going to tell me much? I mean, we could maybe take a little look at the spin and maybe a little look at the club speed. If there's one maybe that you're swinging a little faster, possibly could yeah. be the lighter or the more flexible shaft. But uh, mm. yeah, it's, I'm interested here too, because I actually haven't done this test. This one? Decided yeah, to put you in as a guinea pig. I haven't uh, <laughs> hit a shot yet, but it feels more boardy. Like It feels stiffer, this one, than the last one. I, I don't know. I think this is a little stiffer. <laughs> I can't, uh, I don't know though. And you laughing isn't really helping me. <laughs> oh, that's thin. So initial, initial feeling is it feels like it's a little boardier? Yeah, Okay. that is my thought. Thin again. All right, a little, little thin there. I kind of like those last two misses, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was flying, flying fairly straight. Just a couple of, yeah, a couple of swings that were a little off. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's my takeaway, but. <laughs> Probably about to really confuse you here now after. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> hitting that distance. one. I don't think you, I, I'm trying to think mind games here, too, because you wouldn't just go regular stiff, extra stiff right in a row like that. You'd mix it up a little bit, so. I'm just grabbing a, a, a shaft. Mm. Yeah. I, I know which one is which, but at the same time, I'm not trying to be biased to make this confusing on you. I'm just trying to get, see if I can get some feedback from you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, I still think the last one was a little bit stiffer. I think, I think, I don't know. I'll hit a couple shots, but. That one sounds solid. Yeah, a little yeah. open face, but. A little open face. Good swing there too. Yeah, nice. That was that was really good swing. Yeah. Here's that thin one. Just a little thin there again for you. Yeah, good. Okay. Good miss though, right? Okay. So, do you want to see the numbers? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how much I'll learn from that, but because I didn't hit one thin per se on the first the first shaft, but I hit a couple thin. Well. Yeah. For sure, a couple thin with the second shaft, and then a couple the last thin with the thin. second shaft. Yep. So. All right. So shaft number two had the fastest club speed, and you meant you thought it was the boardier shaft. I did. It, I don't know. It just in my yeah. it felt the, the stiffest to me. Um, the kind of yeah, like a like a board. Yeah. Well, out off the bat here, we can see shaft number two you didn't hit as well. Right. One one three smash one three five one three four with the other two. Mm-hmm. Okay, so interesting. Spin. I mean, the fact you hit a couple thin, that's probably not going to kind of help. Yeah, it's not a big enough sample size in that sense yeah. yet. But I'm trying to just like think of the ones I hit good, and if there's anything different, really. Yeah. I see shot seven spun a little bit more. I don't think I, and I hit that one pretty good. Yeah. I think. So, so what what are you uh, what are you thinking so far? Shaft one, two, and three. God, I think I would go. Hmm. I still think I'm. My gut tells me shaft two is the X100. Um, it's, I'm trying to think between one and three, which one would be regular and which one is stiff. I think I'd go. Three would be. Irregular. One would be stiff. Is I. I think that's. 
where I'm leaning right now. Okay. Yeah. I so you think shaft, so initial first, you know, three swings with each one, you think shaft number two is the X100? Yes. Shaft number three is the R300, and shaft number one is the S300? Yes. Okay. All, All right. right, another round two, and then we'll find results. See if I passed or failed. <laughs> Actually, why don't we, well, we start with this one here again. Okay. So round number two, so shaft This is number, number three, three again, right? Yep, okay. number three so again. This, and three is the one I thought was regular. That's gonna be this way, but. Yeah, it came back. I think I had. Just a little bit. I think there was a shot that had exactly 60.99 spin. Before? Yeah. Good swing. Yeah, that was a good swing there too. Okay. So, so we're gonna stick with your gut here for now. Um, it's it's really between for me. It's between one and three being S three hundred or R three hundred. Okay. I think. Is it is it against the rules if I ask to hit shaft one right now? No, not at all. We we can go back to shaft one here. I think. I don't know why I'm so set. I, I'm just I'm set on shaft two being X one hundred. I don't know if that's right or not, but. I wish I could tell you, but uh, I'll, I'll wait till the end. I'll find out just soon to, enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take just a little peek here just to make sure that I can still remember here. <laughs> so shaft one again. Okay. Hmm. Sound like a good swing. That might be good my first strike. one left. A little left, maybe? A little bit. A little bit of a draw there. Hmm. I think, I think I'm going to stick with what I said originally. Let's, let's go. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. So I think, so S300. Okay. For shaft one. Yep. Shaft two was X100. Okay. And then shaft three was R300. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I lock it in or say Lock it in, answer, you don't even need to hit three I'll more shots with the, uh, the second shaft? I, 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 I'm just feeling confident that that's X100, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that. Okay. So I feel like I'll only get more confused and have second, more second guessing. So, so that's shaft number one. I'll let you peel that one off. You think that is again? What do you think? I was thinking S300. Or, S300. Yeah, S300. Okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is X100. So X100. Yep. I'm already off. So we're already all for one, right? Yep. Well, I can't. Can I get the other ones right? I no. can maybe get. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't get the other ones right. So I'm going to go yeah. for three. Yeah. 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 So shaft two you thought was X100. Yeah. It was actually R300. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. Close. There we go. Just just so we can we can see here. <laughs> all right. Just want to double check. Yeah. R300. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was not really close at all. Yeah, and shaft one was, yeah, S three hundred. Interesting. Yeah. So it's this is this is a fun test. Yeah, so it was. I mean, it's uh, we're talking about golf shafts here that vary in weight by about three grams. Yeah. So it's important not just to stick to one shaft brand or shaft matrix when you are testing different shafts out in a club fitting. Yeah. Because some of them may not vary. Mm -hmm. True Tampa Dynamic Gold, Gold is very unique. The fact that the regular golf shaft weighs 127 grams, the stiff weighs 130, and the X weighs also weighs 130. Yeah. So really not much difference. Yeah. And I, and I wouldn't categorize myself as a feel player, but I think, I mean, this is eye-opening to me to see how I could get all those twisted around the way I did. And, um, and again, I think in a more thorough test, you might see some numbers and maybe a correlation between the differences. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that was, that was fascinating. Cause it, like, I mean, we can go out in the store right here. We'll find sets of irons with an 80 gram, you know, steel shaft or, you know, things like that. And that could be wildly different on a regular flex compared to, you know, the R300. Yeah. And I, I wanted just to touch on these numbers here a little bit here too. So I, I was a little surprised you didn't pick up on this, but shaft number two, we noticed your efficiency was a little worse. 
yeah. and your efficiency was better with shaft number one and three. And these two shafts, you know, being stiff or extra stiff, are you know heavier balls, and yeah. probably a bit better for your type of swing rather than playing an R three hundred where you had a hard time finding the middle of the face with that one there too. So you, know, you can see yeah. here. I guess logic would say a little that, bit shorter on the carry distance logic. with the R three hundred. Um, and I think initially the first round when you did the first three swings, your club speed was actually the, the fastest there with shaft two, number two, because it is lighter. And you got a little more warmed up, so you got a couple more swings here with the others. But I, I was willing to bet if you had done three more swings with the shaft number two, you probably would have added yeah. in a couple around about 94, 95 miles an hour. And this would have remained the highest club speed on average, even though it already is. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I guess. I was afraid of hitting three more and then getting more second guessing and then need to hit more shots and more shots. So, yeah. but I don't know, whatever reason I grabbed the, uh, the R300 and it just, I don't know, I, it felt to me, I, that was the first instinct I had, which obviously was wrong. So, yeah. Yeah. So I won three. Um, yeah. And as I mentioned, I was kind of setting you up for failure. This was a very, very hard comparison. But I wanted to do this. Yeah. I just wanted to just reinforce you know, how important getting fit for the right golf shaft is when you're getting fit for your irons. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the last three to four years since I've been with Second Swing, I've been awakened to how important getting fit is. And so I will, you know, pound the table for people to get fit before they make any type of club selection. So this is just another example of why, because I mean, the, the, the subtleties and, and I mean, you saw it right away with the numbers and the swing speed efficiency, like the, the regular flex is just not for me. And you picked that up right away and I didn't even think of it right away. So <laughs> yep. um, go to a fitter, get fit um, and you'll get your game dialed in. So um, Thomas, thanks for this test. Um, this is very, very eye opening for me. Yeah, we plan on doing more of this type of shaft comparison content in the future. And golfers, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe and let us know what kind of content you want to see.